The search continues for the missing Air Asia flight, and Indonesian authorities thwart a group bound for Syria. Plus, a flood hits the Philippines, forcing thousands to flee, and bird flu warnings are issued in Hong Kong. For Tuesday, December 30th, 2014, this is the Asia Brief. While the search for the missing Air Asia Flight 8501 was suspended Sunday night, it resumed early Monday morning with the addition of three Royal Malaysian Navy ships and a C-130 Hercules supplied by the Royal Malaysian Air Force. Singapore, Australia, and South Korea also pledged the support of aircraft, which included an additional C-130 from Singapore and an AP-3C Orion Maritime Patrol aircraft from Australia. Flight 8501 disappeared en route from Surabaya, Indonesia to Singapore along a regularly traveled flight path, but encountered harsh storm conditions along the way. The last communication with the plane was at 6.13 a.m. when one of the pilots asked to avoid clouds by turning left and going higher, said Joko Mujait Mojo, Indonesia's acting director general of transportation. Flight controllers denied their request because of nearby air traffic, and then lost contact with the plane four minutes later. Air Asia Group CEO Tony Fernandez flew to Surabaya, saying the incident was his worst nightmare and not to speculate on what occurred. Air Asia up to this point has never lost a plane. An emergency call center is available for those seeking information about relatives and friends who may have been on board the flight, and that number is plus 6221927081. This number will be in the show notes as well as posted on the AirAsia.com site. Reports have come in of debris found, but nothing yet has been confirmed, and the working hypothesis by those in charge of the search is that the plane is at the bottom of the sea. The United States and other nations may end up playing a larger role, as Indonesia doesn't have the capability for underwater searches. Indonesia's search and rescue agency has already accepted Singapore's armed forces offer of a submarine on Monday. Authorities have arrested six at Sukarno Hatta International Airport on Saturday, allegedly en route to Syria. Police say those attempting to travel received their funds from an unknown source. The four men, one woman, and child were apprehended following an intelligence tip to the airport's immigration office. A tropical storm dumped rain in the Philippines' Surigao del Sur province. The storm first struck Monday morning around 4 a.m. local time. Some 4,000 people were moved into emergency shelters, Governor Johnny Pimentel told the press. The rains were very strong, and there has been no let-up in the last three days, he said, adding there haven't been reports of casualties, but orders to evacuate up to 6,000 more people may be issued. Some flights have been canceled into the region, and reports of floodwaters measuring 1.5 meters in depth have also been recorded. This is one of the most flood-prone regions in the Philippines, and their effects are made worse by the impoverished life many farmers lead. A woman infected with the deadly H7N9 bird flu transitioned into critical condition over the weekend in Hong Kong, prompting hospitals to raise alert levels. The infected patient had returned from Shenzhen, China two weeks ago and was hospitalized on Christmas Day. According to Hong Kong Center for Health Protection, 10 people had previously been diagnosed with the flu, three of whom died. Hong Kong killed 20,000 chickens in January after the virus was found in livestock. The number of cases this year decreased and the alert level was subsequently reduced. It has now been raised once more to alert status, with emergency status being the highest level. Officials have no immediate plans to cease the import of poultry, but will be introducing rapid testing to check for the disease. Complete information on these stories can be found in the show notes, and if you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with your friends. You can subscribe to this and other podcasts on our website. Just click the tab that says subscribe or the big iTunes and Stitcher buttons. Subscribing is free, and when you do, the next episode is automatically delivered to you. Thank you so much for listening today. For the Asia Brief, I'm Steve Miller. The Asia Brief is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 international license.